Hi guys, it's Amman UK here. Hope everyone's doing well. I told you I'd get some footage of my latest Flavis um, ant colony. I had to take an inch off the plastic test tube setup. I had to saw an inch off it just so I could get the camera to focus. Do not worry, no hams, ants were harmed when I was making this video. They're all perfectly fine. Um, <clears throat> but it was the only way I could get the actual camera to focus. Anyway, I'm going to go over a few things for the Laces Flavus, just so you guys know more about Laces Flavus. Laces Flavus is related to the Laces Niger ant. Uh, they're also known as the Yellow Meadow Ant, or, yeah, a Yellow Ant. <laughs> it's a very common species throughout Europe and the United Kingdom. Um, sometimes they are mistaken for the stinging ant, Mimica ruber. Um, these ants don't tend to sting or bite humans, but obviously will attack other insects that in try to invade or come anywhere near their colony. Uh, they're va they are rather slow, uh, especially when it comes to um, starting out a colony compared to their related species, Laceus niger. And Laceus flavus tend to hide on the grass mounds in your gardens or in fields. So sometimes you might notice in a garden or some field or even a playground or anywhere that you may be that there's like mounds of grass, like lumps of grass. And this is sometimes a sign of yellow meadow ant. But um, if you're gonna go digging, be careful because it could be something else. It could be a wasp nest or something. So be very careful. Um, these ants like to hide away and they don't like confrontations from humans or any other ant species or insects. It's very very shy and always like to hide. That's why they always build these uh, mounds in grass and you know majority of the time they'll spend their lifetime there and they won't even come out. You might not even see a worker ant. The only time they're going to come out is when they do neptune flights and that's about it. Um, you can find these throughout Europe, Asia, parts of North America and also some parts of um, North Africa. Um, the yellow ants, they tend to like to eat insects, sugar water, honey, anything sweet basically, they love it. Um, they will also copy their other ant species and they will farm aphids and sometimes they will even take aphids back to their uh, colony but I'm not exactly sure what they do when they take them back to their colony. I don't know if they take them back for food or just to keep farming them. I didn't really look into that but I have heard that they actually will take aphids back to their colony. Um, the queen ant is roughly about 8 millimeters in size, she is dark orange, she has got dark uh, orange legs, she'll have an orange underbody, um, your laceous niger queen, the black garden ants, will be fully dark brown or dark black, um, but can easily be mistaken, you can easily confuse the two, so when you're looking for laceous flowers, make sure to look out for orange legs, orange underbody, and you pretty much got your hands on a laceous flowers. Um, they are. They can only have one queen in the nest, but I've seen people who've had a few uh, Laceus flavus queens in one colony, but what tends to happen is, I bet you when the colony gets to a certain size, all the workers will attack um, the queens and kill off the queens that are not the strongest, and leave with one queen that's left who is the strongest. And then they just carry on building the colony, but sometimes an accident can happen and they can kill off all of them and then the colony just dies off and fails. So whatever you do, don't put them together. I would recommend just keeping one queen and letting her get on with it, okay? Um, yellow um, meadow ant workers are tend to be two to five millimeters in size. You can't be mistaken. They'll start off as uh, like a light yellow color and then they'll start going to a dark orange color later as they get older. Um, they do not produce any meadow, uh, major worker, ma mm, sorry, major worker ants, but some Worker ants might be slightly bigger than others because obviously you've got your first colonies, you know, your first workers that arrive are going to be smaller than the other workers that arrive later on. Uh, as a pet, Laceus flavus is a really easy species to keep for ant beginners. Um, very low maintenance, it can live up to 25 years, very easy to look after. We're building anything, sand, soil, loom, uh, other subterrains will live in acrylic nest no problem and they don't bite or sting so it's even better. The only problem is with this species sometimes is they can be very slow at starting out but once you get them going they're perfectly fine. In my test tube setup now there's lots of workers and they're producing pretty fast. Anyway guys I'm going to leave you with the rest of the footage. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time at my new cave. Thank you.